I went to the weather forecast and it said it was going to be sunny and warm here. What yeah, I brought the, I brought the weather with me. This is Tseto. <laughs> I have to trust him completely. <laughs> because I could say, he could be saying I'm saying anything and I don't know. So what I'd like to do, first of all, is just find out who you are and uh, what you do. Um, so, um, So, um, can you put your hands up if you are a physical therapist, a physiotherapist of some description, please? That would, that would include massage therapist. Okay, cool, good, good, good. Um, and if you are uh, doing midwife, midwifery, any midwives, doulas? Okay, that's easy. One. You. Two. Yes. You are not so sure. You're a doula. Okay. Um, and uh, anything? Any Bowen therapist? Anybody doing Bowen? Yeah. Good. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. 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 Clarify a couple of things in terms of uh, what about Bowen before we start to those people who know what I'm talking about, then fine if you don't know it's okay. Um, so I'm I'm here really to sort of um, tell you a little bit about uh, about Bowen and what it is and what it does. And a little bit about fascia and uh, what that is and how that works. Um, okay, so uh, first of all, uh, I want to tell you a little bit about myself. You know the one person that always has their mobile phone on? Okay, so uh, so this is a little bit about me, um, and uh, I've been uh, I introduced the bar into the United Kingdom and Europe in 1991. <laughs> Before I got to the UK, nobody was doing it. I learned it in Australia in 1988. I don't even hold it up, do I? Um, and, uh, I can't what I said. So I've got now, in over 25 years, I've done reflexology, some massage, a little bit of various other things. and. So I've done reflexology, but predominantly Bowen for 25 years now. So, um, and now in the last few years I teach uh, facial dissection and functional, what I call functional human movement. So I teach this to um, elite physiotherapists working with Olympic teams. Um, 
Beastie was brought in. Premiership footballers um, and uh, surgeons and doctors. Футболисти от физиотерапевти, които работят с футболисти от тази групата, хирурзи и доктори. I work out of um, Imperial College London, which is one of the top medical schools in the world. Работя с uh, Imperial College of London, който е един от най-добрите медицински училища в света. St Andrews School of Medicine, which is uh, where Prince Harry and Kate met. Uh, St Andrews School of Medicine, където се запознаха Prince Harry и Kate. They didn't meet in the School of Medicine, they met in St Andrews. Не се запознаха в So these are very, very established medical schools. I say this simply because I'm not somebody that turned up yesterday or last week and started teaching this stuff. The dissection courses that I run, nobody else in the world runs courses like this. Курсовете по дисекция, които преподавам, не ги преподава никой друг в света. One of the reasons I I learned I started to do this seven or eight years ago was because I wanted to understand that when I was teaching about my Bowen, I could be absolutely 100% sure that I knew what I was talking about. Причината да започна да се занимавам с това при 7-8 години е, защото исках, когато преподавам болен курсовете, да съм абсолютно уверен за какво говоря. Да не се закачите с мен. Да, so I have taught thousands of болен students around the world. Преподавал съм болен на хиляди ученици по целия свят. I've written two books for leading publishing houses. They're not books that I've published, they're not self-published books. I've been asked to write the books and I've written the books and they've sold thousands of copies. I ran dissection classes and lecture classes with a man called Tom Myers. Some of you have heard of anatomy trains and uh, so Tom Myers is a colleague and a friend of mine. Преподавал съм фасциални и дистрикционни курсове с Том Майерс, ако случи, че го познавате. Гил Хедли е колега на мен и ние колаборираме. Аз правя неговите курси в Юнайтед Кингдъм, неговите дисекционни курси и неговите фасциални курси. Ако не сте слушали за Гил Хедли, гледайте го в YouTube. Гил Хедли е един човек, с който правим курсовете, всъщност аз правя неговите курсове в Англия. Ако не знаете кой е Гил Хедли, просто отидете в YouTube и го намерете. Uh, this year I've been asked to write a chapter in a book by a man called Leon Chato um, and it's probably the biggest thing to ever happen for Bowen. It's a chapter on, on fascial dysfunction, so it appears with Robert Schleip and Tom Myers, Thomas Findlay, all the biggest names in fascia in the world and Bowen for the first time is being invited into this. Книгата за фасциални дисфункции е в нея ще участват някои от най-големите имена в света на учените, които се занимават с фасция. Има само едно научно получване, което е минало процеса на проверка, има много And uh, finally, I am friendly with Tom Bowen's children. Uh, his daughters and his son are people that I uh, am friendly with and they've come to the UK and been guests in my house and approve of what I get up to. Сина му и дъщеря му са мои приятели, идвали са в моята къща в Англия. Те знаят с какво се занимавам и отобряват работа, която върши. So I say this because you might get the idea that I'm just making stuff up uh, or that I'm not official in some way. Казвам това, защото uh, може иначе да се помислите, че си измислям някои неща или че не съм официален по някакъв I like not being official. На мен ми харесва да не съм официален. But if this isn't official, I'm not really sure what is. 
но ако това не е официален, тогава не мога да се представя какво е било официално. I give you this so that uh, uh, that you understand that uh, that what I say is to this isn't about me telling you how great I am, although. Това, което ви казвам сега, не е просто да ви разкажа защо защо съм велик. It's just so that you have some faith in what I'm saying. А просто за да имате малко доверие на това, което казвам. Let me give you some facts about Tom Bowen. Нека да ви дам малко няколко факти за Tom Bowen. Tom Bowen was the man whose name, he didn't give it the name, but the name was taken to use to make this technique. This is a picture of him. Той самия не е назвал техниката така, но него ти ме е използвано за да бъде названа тя. Картинката не е много хубава. So he uh, he left school at 14. He never learned how to do any treatments. He never had a training. То е напуснал училище на 14 никога не е бил обучаван как да извърши някакъв вид терапия. Pick this idea up. Просто обърнете внимание на този факт. He was constantly adapting and changing his work until the day he died. Постоянно адаптирал и променял начинът по който работи, чак до деня в който е починал. So his work was based around a series of a set of principles, not some procedures. Работата му е основана на редица принципи, а не просто някакъв навод от процедури. Аз се казах. Oh, right again.